wax on, wax off, Mr. Miyagi style. Well, what a difference. Very rough, very smooth. You ask yourself, what is he doing? What, what is this? Well, this is an old compressor. Not so old, it's a Crestman, I don't know how many gallons, 33 gallon compressor. It used to be. It doesn't have the compressor head anymore. It just had the tank laying around. And I'm thinking of converting this kind of compressor and putting an air conditioning compressor on top uh, that I was thinking and reusing. Uh, changed some air conditioning units here in the house not long ago. And I had a bunch of compressors. Most of them, I scrapped them, but I kept a couple of them. And one of them is kind of tiny, skinny, and uh, they're not that noisy. And uh, I, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I, I wanna give it a try. I will have to get the rest of the stuff, the control and the check valve, probably new. But I don't have to paint the tank. I discovered that uh, if I give it a um, polish, it does work that way. And I don't have to paint it because this is a pretty good paint. Probably this should be uh, powder coated. So no need for me to try to put some acrylic paint on, on top of that. This will look a lot better. So this is a project I'm planning to work on soon. I got another compressor. Uh, this is the other compressor I was telling you about. This is a very awkward, noisy, inefficient compressor that I bought long ago. And every time I try to move it, you know, tips over because all the weight is on top. The, the wheels are not very good. And it does work, but it takes a long time to fill up. So this is the other compressor I was telling you about. This is an air conditioning compressor for a house unit. Here are some of the parts of that unit. And this compressor is good. And I am planning to use it, except that it works with uh, 220 volts. So I would have to actually use it here in the shop. This is my original 80 gallon compressor that uh, installed this Harbor Freight tool pump on it. Now this pump, it works okay. It's not that noisy, but it vibrates a whole lot. I haven't changed the oil on it. And it says that you should change the oil uh, the first couple of hours of use. I haven't used it that much. I do need this compressor for this um, sandblaster eventually. Anyway, this compressor will, with the cubic feet per minute of that pump, will probably run that um, sandblaster okay. However, most of the time I don't need that much uh, volume of air. And I was thinking that if I install that air conditioning pump on this tank, maybe use all those parts from the other little compressor or maybe buy new ones I can put it aside and plug it in and keep it inflated both of those tanks with the air conditioning unit it takes longer because the cubic feet per minute of that pump I don't think is very big but it's not noisy and I don't keep it like together and then I can move it around if I need to to inflate a tire or something. So one of the things that I like about this tank is that uh, it's balanced kind of nicely. And then the uh, handle is, it's got a lot of lever so I can control the compressor when I'm rolling it. So I hope I can get all this footage done and, and maybe create some content with it. And uh, something that is interesting. And maybe something that inspire you to do the same thing. Uh, who knows, but let me try it first, see if it works, and then maybe you can do it yourself. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.